but... Sometimes somebody will have an injury that they can see or feel. They're so focused on the injury that they can see that they don't feel anything else. So we're going to an apartment that's known for uh, some gang uh, stuff. I'm wondering if it's not these little ones up here. Yeah, guaranteed, that's where it is. We just kind of have to wait till the area is safe before we can go on scene. It's important that city police arrive on some scenes first before we get there, just to ensure that we're safe in doing our job. Step four, step to the forearm and just confirm code eight's on scene. Code eight is our code for Saskatoon City Police. It's very important that we uh, secure the scene. Step four, code eight is on scene. It is now safe to proceed. The problem with a stabbing is that you don't know the depth of the injury. You can see on the surface the length and width, but you don't know how deep it's gone. Are we going right upstairs or? Okay. There could be an arterial bleed, and an arterial bleed is life-threatening, and a person can die within minutes. Do you want to come to the truck? Maybe we'll check you out. Yeah. Have a seat on the bench there, bro. Bleeding lots? Was. Okay, just leave it like that for now. Was it spurting blood or was yeah. it? At first it was. We see the police have actually already applied a tourniquet to stop the bleeding. So what happened, bud? Sometimes somebody will have an injury that they can see or feel, but not realize they've been stabbed somewhere else. We call that a distracting injury. Is that it? You weren't stabbed anywhere else, eh? Hey? Hopefully on this side somewhere. Maybe on my head. They're so focused on the injury that they can see that they don't feel anything else. Can you move your fingers? I can, but, but, but my arm's going real numbly. Yeah, that's yeah because the tourniquet's on. We put a tourniquet on above the wound, and we use it to stop the blood flow. I think we're going to try with the tourniquet off. I don't think it's arterial, and if we need to put the tourniquet back on, we can do that. We're going to keep it, though, just in case. For a, a city police officer to identify a major wound like that, to have a tourniquet on him and essentially treat the patient before we even arrive is fantastic. Maybe I can have that thing back then. Do you want to toss me that tourniquet? Sure. It has blood on it. It was very quick thinking of the officer to apply that tourniquet. Not all police officers carry them. What type of knife did she use? Kitchen knife. He was lucky it could have been a lot worse. The knife is bigger, if it was sharper, it could have died right then and there. I need a finger. <laughs> I was gonna die or something. Yeah, the mean streets of Saskatoon. down unconscious in the elevator. We were just at this building for a stabbing. We go to that apartment building at least maybe one to two times a night. We arrive on scene and we find a male passed out in the elevator in our previous patient's blood. Sir, you want to wake up? City police, are you okay? Wake up! Who called this in? I recognize uh, someone. Hey, you've been Hi. drinking. Some paramedics, how are you feeling? Okay. What's your name, sir? What? Hey, okay. hey. So we wake the gentleman up and he's not happy to see us. What? Can we take you to some calls? What? Initially, I believe that he thought we were police officers, and a lot of the time, they're not happy to see police. People are combative because you're ruining their good time, you're taking them away from their situation, and they just want to be left alone. What if we give you a good place to sleep tonight? There'll be a bed and a blanket and ah. a sandwich. Are you going to crawl up onto this bed? Come on. I'll start that. You're just going to be calm, eh? One, two, three. That's better. Let's go, bud. Let's go skip the world, too, over. 
Some people that aren't really heard in society, they feel like they're kind of pushed aside. I speak for them when they're not able to speak for themselves. What? Just be calm. Just be calm. What? I'm one of the paramedics. I'm not a, I'm not a police officer, OK? Sometimes they can't do that physically, or they don't have the capacity to do that. So if you stay calm, we'll stay calm. Well, you can sleep, and in the morning, they'll let you go home. OK? I can be that voice for them. I like being that advocate. For me, that's the most rewarding part of the job. It was discovered in hospital that he did have an arterial bleed, went to the OR for repair of the injury, and admitted to hospital to recover.